previously on Greens and Machines. Vinny decides to chop up some beets to make some golden beet wine. Now that a few weeks have passed, how does this wine taste? Find out in this video. Greensandmachines.com After spending two weeks sitting in my bathtub and with no more noticeable airlock activity, it came time to process this golden beet wine forward. The beets have been suspended in the solution of wine, so my first step is to get the liquid decanted away from the pulp. So how am I doing that? By auto siphoning into a bucket lined with a strainer, in case any pulp manages to escape my fermenter. Now, while this is siphoning, this is a good time for me to shamelessly plug the channel. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more crazy home brewing creations. Also, I must thank Squashy Grapefruit for this t-shirt I'm wearing while brewing today. If you want to get a t-shirt like this, visit the link below. Now back to the brewing details. I didn't take a gravity reading of this wine before I started fermenting, but I'm taking one now to see how dry this wine became. Oh wow, the hydrometer is reading less than 1.000. This wine is super dry. Depending on how this tastes, I may have to back sweeten it. Now that all the pulp has been separated from the wine, I can bottle this out. But first, let's have a taste test. Alright, here we have a small glass of the beet wine. Let's see how it tastes. Smells kind of fruity. Maybe a little earthy. Not quite sealed out. You can see that. See the taste. Oh, that's a, that's a taste that would take some time to really get used to. It's very earthy. Very earthy immediately. Kind of need the alcohol to hit you there to keep you alive. Wow, I think it needs some time to age. I mean, it gets better. It gets better if you let it linger a bit in your mouth. I like that. The aftertaste is good, but the initial taste is not so good. Just leave it back for now. Interesting stuff. So there you have it. Looks like I need to either back sweeten this wine or let it age a little while. With all that out of the way though, cleaning this fermenter filled with pulp is going to be a chore. 